Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Look at this, it's a beautiful Neil Wogan Horizon Velociraptor. We're not looking at that today. We're looking at this, there's loads of hype about this at the moment. It's the Tyrannosaurus Rex 135th scale, and this is a Bull T-Rex model. Uh, it looks very similar to the one we see in the Lost World. It looks really, really cool. It's a very nondescript packaging, uh, but it's from a company called Dino World. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. At around 70 euros, this is not a cheap piece, but I've seen images of the product sample contained inside and I was very impressed. So this comes in 135th scale. Uh, it's comparable with a lot of the existing Rebor figures and Papo figures, so it will look good on the shelf. On the front, we have this nice glossy illustration of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. As far as I know, this is manufactured by a company called Dino World. This is their logo. And uh, on the bottom here, it says Tyrannosaurus Rex. And again, we have their logo down in the corner. It says W Dragon there. Opening up the satin finished box, inside we've got something I didn't expect to find. It's a large format information sheet. We've got the branding of the product on the front. And then on the reverse, we've got a really nice pencil rendering of the Tyrannosaurus Rex mid-stride, very akin to something that Crash McCreary would do, but I've never seen this artwork before, and it's beautiful. And then we've got this information on the Tyrannosaurus Rex there. Really nice addition. So then you've got a nice foam padding, really thick, so you know it's protecting the product really nicely. At the bottom we've got the display base in its own baggie, and then in the top compartment we've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now from what I can see here we've got pegs in the base and holes in the feet of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But without further ado, let's open this thing up. And here is the beautiful Bull T-Rex out of the packaging and on his display stand. And this thing is gorgeous. I'm just turning it with my hand because actually on the turntable I found it was going too quickly for you to appreciate. But what I really love about this thing is the airbrushing, the level of care that's been taken with all of that airbrushing. It really does hark back to that Stan Winston Bull T-Rex that we all love from Jurassic Park The Lost World. A really, really beautiful piece. And the finish is spot on as well. It's got that sort of satin, semi-wet look that we've all seen in The Lost World. From front on, maybe it could be a little bit stockier, but honestly, this is a minor gripe. This piece is beautiful. So let's start by taking a closer look at the display base. So I'm assuming this is distressed to look like ebony hardwood or volcanic rock or even really dirtied brass. Um, it's really got that sort of dark distinctive look to it. Um, it's actually made from resin. Um, it's quite a hard, dense feel to it, uh, quite weighty. Um, it comes with these little pegs. There is a little bit of wear on my peg here um, and you can see we've got footprints uh, where the feet should line up to. Overall, I'd say it's a really nice understated base, doesn't detract too much from the sculpt of the T-Rex, and it gives it a sort of museum quality feel. Underneath we've got an illustration of the skeleton with Tyrannosaurus Rex 135th scale. Now attaching the T-Rex to the base is a little bit problematic. The T-Rex appears to be made of a vinyl, it's definitely hollow in the middle and much lighter, and I don't mind vinyl figures, the base is much denser resin. Um, but what happened here is that one foot would peg into one hole and the other toe didn't line up. So you do have to kind of pull a little bit to get the leg to line up with that peg. So yeah, a little bit stressful when you're kind of forcing and using a lot of weight on a new figure like this. Uh, but yeah, got there eventually. Uh, unfortunately, mine is still a little bit off the base, so it's not completely flush with the floor. The figure itself is stunning. I mean, look at this head sculpt. This is spot on to what we know from Stan Winston's Jurassic Park T-Rex. Just a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. A little bit funny looking from front on, a little bit narrow, uh, but the insides of the mouth have been painted and finished with a glossy finish, giving it that sort of genuine wet look. It's not overly done. The eyes have a nice spot gloss on them to really make them have that sort of wet appearance. The sculpt is true to what we know from the Jurassic Park T-Rex. There's lots of lovely finer details there. As we move down the neck, there's lots of lovely creases here. And what I love to see are all these airbrushed hues of green going on. There is a seam line where the arm meets the body there, and you can see faintly the ribs coming through. That's really, really cool. The underside looks really nice, nicely weathered. 
just very true to what we know of the Jurassic Park T-Rex. And if I didn't know better, I'd say this is probably some sort of digitally manipulated version of the Horizon T-Rex sculpt. Um, I could be wrong, uh, but it definitely feels like it's got origins in the Stan Winston sculpt. As we move back up the leg, you can see we've got those pale undertones. The airbrushing is very, very nice. I do like the way they've done the, the stripes. It's very sensitive, feels very natural. Nice weathering on the underside here. Nice gentle flick in the tail. It feels like I'm holding a smaller version of the Horizon T-Rex tail at this point. As we move down, you can see there's nice stripes going down the tail, lovely hues of green. Nice definition of the musculature. Again, very familiar looking to those who know the T-Rex sculpt. Down to a really nice splayed foot there. You can see the ribs coming through. And I love that finish, that sort of semi-gloss. It's so true. I'm thinking of the shot in The Lost World where Roland Tembo shoots the T-Rex and it looks so true to that. It's a really, really beautiful finish and paint job. And of course it has the scarring on the nose there. Just very, very nice attention to detail. Okay, so just how big is this guy? Let's get out the tape measure. You're looking at about 14 inches long, which is about 36 centimeters. In terms of height, you're looking at about seven inches there, which is about 18 centimeters. And in terms of width, you're looking at about four inches, just under about 10 centimeters. Scale comparison time. Let's bring in the classic green Papo Tyrannosaurus Rex. Although we don't know what scale the Papo T-Rex is, it is safe to assume it's around 1 35th scale. And you can see here that the skull and the body is much stockier on the Papo Rex than the Dino World figure. Next, let's bring in the Rebor Ankylosaurus Warpig, 1 35th scale, recently reviewed on the channel. And these two look great next to each other. You can see how the detail of the Warpig complements the detail of the Dino World figure. So yeah, it's nice to see these two next to each other. If you wanna see this review, link is down below. Last but not least, let's bring in Off Color Alan. <laughs> Obviously, Alan is completely out of scale with this Tyrannosaurus Rex, but it could do as maybe a juvenile Rex if you're looking to build some sort of diorama. Thanks, Alan. There he goes. He's leaving the review table. Now, I'm going to put it mildly. This is superb. This is probably one of the best figures I've seen in a long time. The fact that we've got a desktop piece, 135th scale, a bold T-Rex that is this accurate to Jurassic Park The Lost World is fantastic. So definitely worth picking up if you can afford it. Okay guys, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.